Joske. Um, you mentioned the name, huh? Spontaneous guy. Uh, he's really, really funny. Uh, I think everyone in the, in the dressing room and even around the club really likes him. Of course, uh, with his qualities, he's someone you, you always want in your team than in the, in the other. Mike is someone who is also passionate when it comes to football and also someone who loves to, you know, uh, make things easy. Or he likes to also sometimes make some jokes, you know, this kind of thing. He, he's also funny. Just scared. Bro, you good? Yeah, I'm good. And you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So there are a couple of questions here. First one, who was your idol growing up as a young football player and who is it today? When I was young, yeah. it, uh, when I was playing, they always call me Gattuso. Gattuso? You, you know, the defender? Yeah, I know the midfielder. Yes, yeah. so I was playing as a right back when I was young. Okay, I didn't know that. So I was playing in the under, under, under 16 and from under 16, I need to change my shirt again, mm -hmm. play under 18. I need to change my set again and play the 21. What, so you were so I was really games. young, but I was playing three games in one, 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 day. one, one day. One day? Yeah, bro. It's, it's, <laughs> it was crazy, really. I think now it's really hazard. Yeah. Because I really love the kind of, of play, you know, of he, play is. he is, even though, uh, yeah, he's not having his best uh, yeah. uh, season now. But, but he's, he's really. Everyone knows who he's capable quality, of doing, you know. Yeah. In Chelsea, how good he, he, he was, was, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, he's also one person that I've always admired and always wants to be like maybe in the future also. Yeah, yeah. Me as a young, as a young kid, um, it always has been um, Robinho. Oh, okay. Rob yeah. Robinho. Hey, he was he was the short guy also. Yeah. Huh? He's really he's really good yeah, and he's also Robinho. fast also. Yeah, fast, skillful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Robinho and Ronaldinho oh. were really the two I was really liking. Um, and then of course with time, uh, Ronaldo came up, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, and then actually now um, is Neymar. Uh, Neymar. Now I understand. What? <laughs> yes, now I understand because on the on on the foot of play, it's you know it's like everything. It's together, it's to <laughs> you know? You know when and how to do your thing. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Yeah. And you, you, you have the bright you know, idea, especially when you are on the ball. Mm -hmm. So it's like Neymar, it's like also Robino. Mm -hmm. It's like you have all these qualities. So now I know, eh? Now you understand. Oh, now, now I understand. <laughs> I never know, so now I understand. Uh, oh, okay. The, yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's Neymar because of, I, I quite remember, you, you remember the game uh, we played home? With the with the panna. Oh, he against Mechelen. Mechelen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. It was Neymar, <laughs> bro. That uh, was amazing. I, yeah. I How do you spend your time on your free day? On my free days, um, most of the time I go back to my mom's place. Um, your mommy's boy, no? What do you say? Mommy's boy, no? Uh, yeah, quite. <laughs> I, the past the past years, I used to play in the Netherlands. So I haven't been home like uh, a lot of times these last years, but um, that's why when I have a free day, I go back, see my mom, uh, my little brother too, uh, just spend some time with them, just a normal, casual day. Um, and yeah, just, just get at peace again. Yeah, and it always feels good, huh? Of when course, with family. of course, being home with yeah, your mom, bro. you know, eating the food that your mom makes. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah of <laughs> Sometimes you miss the food, huh? Yeah, you definitely <laughs> miss the food. <laughs> what are you doing on your free days then? Uh, my free days. Uh, normally, if we have like we have this ten days free, now I need to go to my family also. Right. See my family, see my twin sister. I also miss her, yeah. you know. Uh, see see my younger brothers and, uh, and and sister, and also my my mom, you know. Yeah. It's been a long time. I I also saw her, so yeah. I need to, I need to go also, show them some love and just be with them and just you know make something out of the, the, the vocation that I have Which because that's the most important thing. Afterwards, you need to concentrate on football when you come, yeah. and, you know, and this also really helps in, you know, getting some stress out and of course. being really freely in the mm -hmm. mind and just, yeah, doing what you love. So, yeah, in my free time also, that's what I do. And sometimes I also play FIFA. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah, yeah. What is the hardest decision you ever had to take in your life? The hardest decision? Yeah, the hardest. Oh, 
Yeah, I, I would say when I was really young, mm -hmm. I took a decision uh, for myself. Uh, it's based on school and football. Okay. So my mom was in support of school. My dad was in support of school. But when I just told them, look, yeah, I, I will continue the school. But after this period, when I go, I'm just going to stop because, mm -hmm. you know, it's not something that's for me. Uh, I just need to concentrate on the talent that I have. Mm -hmm. So it was a back and forth with my family. You know, sometimes when I go to training, they are always angry and all that. But you know also why they were like a little bit angry. Yes, yes, because they, they, parents will always be parents. Yeah, that's you will always I mean. want your children to go to school, yeah. have a good education mm -hmm. and all this kind of thing. I really, I really, you know, uh, accept and, you know, deal with what they say. But, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes also I just need to you know, go with how I also feel, you know. I totally, totally. Yeah. You need to feel a bit like, follow your gut. Yeah. And now it, it, it's, it's paying off also, and they are also happy. So yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. when, when we are talking now, sometimes we don't even talk about that, you yeah. know. Now we talk about how things are really perfectly going yeah. on well, and how life is really uh, changing from yeah. time to time, and all these kind of things. So, yeah, at the yeah, end of the day, I think they, they just want you to be happy, of yeah, course, bro. as their child. Okay, Mike. There you go. If you ask a potential young talent to play for KRC Gang, what would you say? I could say, uh, I could only guarantee him that he's going to become a better player uh, because he's going to be surrounded by many, many talents and uh, the training levels are quite high. So yeah. you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna become a better player and I think that's what every young player wants to be. And it's much more easier also to adapt also in this country. Yeah, of, and you also have multi, like you have many cultures also. Yeah. So I think uh, people good. are really nice over here. So it's going to be easy to, 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 get in, uh, to get in the club, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. What was the craziest question you ever got from a fan? <laughs> uh, there, there was this fan who, who just came to me yeah. and was like, hey, Joseph, how are you doing? Uh, and then he just, he just asked me if, if I am a twin. You understand? Yeah. Because I, I used to work with one guy. Mm -hmm. He also looks a little bit similar to, like to me. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the guy also came to the stadium. Okay. So when, when he came, they were like, ah, oh, is it not Joseph? So after the game, they also saw me on the field. Yeah. So they thought, they must be a yeah, twin. There must be a twin. So mm -hmm. he just approached me and asked me if whether I am a twin. And I was like, even though I am a twin, yeah. but I didn't expect him to ask, to ask me if I am a twin. Yeah. So then I told him, no, I'm not a twin because he just said, he just saw someone who someone really looked uh, yeah. really close, uh, really like familiar to me. Yeah. And afterwards he just asked me if whether maybe we can have a drink. Have a drink? Yes. <laughs> you know, I just, all I need to respond is, Okay, we will find time. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to be rude. I don't yeah. want to be, you know, and I will never be rude with fans because yeah. they, are, they are the reason why we are, we are playing this, uh, this football. So yeah. what about you? For me, um, you know, every fan's like asking for shirts yeah. or for shoes. But that day I couldn't give like my football shoes. So he asked for my normal shoes that I was wearing when I was oh. going to my car, but I couldn't give them. The normal shoes? My normal <laughs> shoes, yeah. And I said, I can't give them. And then he asked for my socks. <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, I can't give my socks too. And I'm then like, he's going to go, he's them. going to take your shirts then? No, I can't, I can't give him what, what I'm wearing. I need to go so home. So what now. happened then? No, I said, I'm sorry, I can't, but uh, I can't promise you. But, but maybe was, he, was he really soon. still insistent? No, he wasn't that insistent. Oh, okay. like, no. But yeah. he was asking, he was serious, so... I don't know how yeah, he would have been.